Hi pilots, welcome to this video. Today is a happy day for me, since I'm going to unbox my new RC helicopter from Flywing. It's a Bell Huey. As you can see, the helicopter comes well protected in double box. And also in the box there is a foam protection. First thing that you can see is the manual in color. And now look at this beauty. I ordered the version uh, without the receiver, the battery and uh, a controller. So it's a basic version. In the box you get uh, blades, helicopter, um, a tool and a binding plug for the receiver. As you know, it's a direct drive tail rotor. So, um, at the time of making this video, there was uh, already night outside, so the lighting conditions are really bad. But again, I couldn't wait for a better day. There is a cable for connecting the flight controller to the uh, computer for setting up uh, the flight controller. The helicopter came without any damage whatsoever. As I said, it was really well protected. Blade grips are made out of plastic. Here you can see that the tail rotor is flexible, which is good because if you hit some, uh, with something with the tail rotor, there is a small uh, chance that you will break the fuselage. Because of bad lighting conditions, you really can't see how beautiful the color is. There was no imperfections whatsoever on the fuselage. The molding was perfect, the paint job was perfect, really good job from Flywing. The canopy is not attached with uh, uh, magnets anymore, like on my Bell 206. You know, they dropped magnets for attachment, uh, for uh, canopy attachment because they can mess with the compass. Uh, here you can see that there is no um, one-way be bearing. The main rotor is dire directly connected to the uh, main uh, gear. The landing gear is better, better made than on my Bell 206. Now, here you can see a potential issue, because this is a, a cable that runs from ESC to the tail rotor and it, it's not secured, so you really have to, to secure this cable because otherwise it, uh, the main uh, gear can grab it during the flight and you will lose tail motor, which obviously leads into a bad crash. So you have to pay an attention here and attach it. 
Man, look at this. Look at this beauty. Wow. This is such a beautiful helicopter. You know, some guys tell that this uh, helicopter is overpriced, but I don't think so. My Bell 206, as you can see here, has been flying flawlessly for years now. So I really think that both of these helicopters are really well priced. Even though that these helicopters are have a GPS flight controller, you can still fly it in manual mode. I mostly fly in manual mode. I'm really looking forward to fly this nice helicopter. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and bye.